here, Weston. Bring on 2020. New year, new decade, new jokes. Between the uh, New Year festivities and the Golden Globes, we are a bit behind. But I'm Allison Muzila, and we are back with the West 10, all of Weston's most interesting events, happenings, and people in 10-ish minutes or less between two pines. We here at the West 10 welcome you back from wherever you were, back to the best little town west of Route 20, or west of Route 128. We've worked diligently for the last four and a half minutes to come up with the West 10 Top 10 2020 New Year's resolutions. And here they are, number one. Use absolutely no eyesight jokes during the year. Like, well, now I've seen the light. My vision must be 2020. No, just no. Number two, insult no one who employs a better lawyer than ours. Didn't ours just go to the Cape? I think he did. Number three, use props valued under $20 at all times. It's not what you have, people. It's what you make of it. Number four, interview Knox, Weston's very own canine police dog. Now this must be the hardest interview to get in the state. If we fail, we'll try for Charlie Baker instead or that really cute Kennedy kid. <laughs> Number five, win a daytime Emmy. I mean, if Days of Our Lives can do it, why not us? Like the sands through the hourglass? So are the Days of Our Lives between two pines. Number six, Resolution 6 through 10, we will get back to you when we have more clarity. I mean, when we can see clearly, because our eyesight's not like 2020 anymore. Oh, <laughs> there goes resolution number one already. Okay, in Weston event news, we've got a few fun items this week. The Weston High School class of 2020 holds a fundraiser this Saturday, January 11th, where they will come pick up your Christmas tree. For $20, you can send off your tree to be mulched at the transfer station. But if you're watching this Sunday and you miss the deadline, well, the West Hen suggests disposing of your tannenbaum in your backyard woods, not conservation woods. This becomes bird or wildlife habitat. Or as a last resort, email us and we'll pass on the info of a Lincoln goat herder who feeds the trees to his goats for extra fiber, it's like the Metamucil of the Metro West. January 15th at the Arts and Innovation Center, come check out open mic night starting at 7 p.m. This is your chance to read your new sonnet, to try a new ditty with your band, or to recite that old teenage breakup letter full of angst and rage. You get a tight five minutes, that is, so be brave and live large. In athletics news, the high school varsity basketball team will play Waltham on January 25th at 2 p.m. at, wait for it, the TD Garden. Yes, the TD Garden, where the really tall people play. So let's load up the commuter rail, catch the Kendall Green train, and go support our cats. All right, let's make some noise. Okay. Now, clashing calendars, Weston, on the same day. There's a lot going on. January 25th, just a few hours later, the Weston Friendly Society is hosting a barbecue and box social at First Parish Church. Guys, this is like my high school nightmare. Like, athletes versus drama nerds, same time. Like, Crips versus Bloods and Sox versus Yankees. Seriously, just relax, find some plaid and an actual cowboy hat, and come do -si do Here with more information on the event is Valerie Koenig, West and Friendly's board president. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Allison. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Tell us about West and Friendly Society. You don't know what Weston Friendly Society Today is? Today I don't. The Weston Friendly Society is, been in, is a community theater that's been in existence in Weston for 134 years, and it is the second oldest community theater in the United States. Who knew? I know. It, um, our mission is to bring quality theater and theater education to Weston and to raise money for local charitable causes. And all of the productions, mostly, are at? 
Town Hall. Town Hall. If you've mm -hmm. missed it, oh my gosh, get on the train. It's amazing. Exactly. All right, so what's a box social? A box social, well, our version of box social is there's going to be square dancing, there's yes. going to be games, there's going to be beer and wine and, and barbecue, and we're going to be at the First Parish Church. Um, there may or may not be a hog call at the end of it. Sweet. And the box social part of it is there will be an auction with mystery disguised boxes with baked goods and prizes in them. Mystery. Mm -hmm. Love it. Uh, what do we bring, those of us who are lucky enough to go? Just throw on your plaid shirts and your cowboy boots and your cowgirl hat and come on over. Bonus question. Yes. What do you call a dance caller person? Where? Where are we? Are we in New England or are we in the rest of the world? We are in New England. In New England, we call it a prompter. In the rest of the world, a caller. Right? I know. It's confusing. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll double check that. On January 25th at First Parish Church in Weston at, at 7 p.m. Be there or be square. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you for that heart-stopping update. Now, finally today, we debut our newest segment called the West 10 Data Blast. Blast. We're a hard-hitting, data-driven show, and it's our responsibility to inform you of Weston's facts by the numbers. Such as, did you know there are 993 licensed dogs in your state? It's a lot of doggos. And actually, that's a lot of poop. Let's see, 993 dogs times two times a day, conservative, times 365 is about, well, hey, and we're just not going to count the visiting three million cat rock dogs or the reservoir dogs. <laughs> see, or those fun days when your dog surprises you with more loads than you have bags for. So all told then, the number of individual canine poos produced in Weston per year comes out around 725,000 individual stacks. Or as I like to call them on cable, shitloads. <laughs> 725,000 poos weighing in at the size of this puppy right here. All right, so that would be, let's see. Uh, Eight million pounds of pooch manure. So, resolution number six, remind Weston to pick up after yourselves and your dogs. Dogs. So, until next time, enjoy Weston where the poop is large, the trees are tall, and tomorrow brings another day. So be kind to your neighbors. For the West 10, I'm Allison Muzila. Happy 2020. Uh, that was way better. <laughs>